I'm with Annie Mitchell-Gears from the British Consulate in Jerusalem. Now, Annie, you're the head of the Chevening Programme. What is the Chevening Programme? So the Chevening Programme is a prestigious international scholarship scheme which is funded by the UK government and it's aimed at developing global leaders by offering fully funded one-year master's degrees in the UK to outstanding professionals from around the world. And when was this programme started and why was it started? So it was started in 1983. It's been running in countries around the world, including in the occupied Palestinian territory since then. And the aim is to build a network of future leaders, influencers and decision makers who have a positive impression of the UK, go back to promote cooperation and mutual understanding between the UK and their home country. And what sort of people are you looking for to join the Chevening programme? So there's no typical Chevening scholar. What I would say is that we are looking for individuals who have leadership potential, a strong academic background and a clear vision for their future. So they need to be able to demonstrate a commitment to bringing their knowledge and skills back to their home countries to make a difference. And how does this one-year programme change their life? So it offers scholars the chance to immerse themselves completely in British culture for a full year, gain valuable academic and professional skills, and I think crucially build a global network which significantly enhances their personal and career development. I imagine they get to see British culture but also get to share their culture as well. Yeah, exactly, and I think that's one of the most beautiful things about it. It's a cultural exchange that allows scholars from around the world to come together to experience British life and share their own traditions and perspectives, which really helps to foster greater global understanding. Mm. Is this program designed for the candidate to pick up and learn many skills and then bring those skills back to their own country? Yeah, exactly. You could say kind of everyone wins here. So the program is designed to equip scholars with skills and knowledge that they can apply in their careers back home. And it's a requirement of the program that you have to return to your home country for two years after completing your master's program. So the idea is that you then come back and contribute your skills and everything that you've learned to the society that you've come from and created a positive impact here on the ground. Mm. How has this program changed lives of individuals? So most of the alumni that I meet describe it as the best year of their lives. It's completely a life-changing experience. Many of our alumni have gone on to become influential leaders in their countries. We have 15 heads of state across the Chevening programme worldwide, alumni that have gone on to be heads of state, many that have driven change in government, in business, in academia, civil society, made huge contributions to their communities. I mean, just speaking about about here, about Palestinians that have taken part in the programme, we have one who's just come back from the Olympics. She's been the nutritionist supporting the Palestinian team there. We've got others that work in the World Bank. The uh, Palestinian ambassador to the UK is a Chevening alumni. So you really get a sense of kind of how diverse the fields that they go on to work in and the kind of changes that they're able to achieve. And what are some of the stories that you have received back from past candidates? So some of the stories that I've just outlined, so experiences of working on the Olympics, of serving in government, they often come back and share stories of career advancements, impactful projects that they've led, and I think mostly the lifelong friendships that they've made during their time in the UK, which really underlines the kind of transformative power of the programme. Does Chevening run for people all around the world? Yeah, so it operates in over 160 countries and territories worldwide and offers opportunities to a really diverse range of talented individuals from across the world. But here today we're in Bethlehem and you're looking for Palestinians for this. Yeah, exactly. So it's Palestinians that we're looking to apply. You have to be Palestinian, you don't necessarily have to be resident here. So particularly at the moment we understand lots of people have been displaced. But if you are Palestinian, then you meet the eligibility criteria to apply. I imagine people make lifelong friendships when they do this. Yeah, absolutely. And also make a lifelong connection with with us here in the consulate, uh, which we're really, really grateful for. So they build lasting connections with their students, with fellow students from around the world. So not just from from here. There's a a network of 55,000 alumni globally. So they've gone on to make friends, not just with other Palestinians, but with other people that are taking part in the program from around the world. Mm. Is this Britain giving back to the world and also helping developing countries to achieve their great things? Yes, I think you could say that. I think it represents the UK's commitment to global development, to fostering international collaboration and to supporting talented individuals from all over the world to realise their full potential. It really feels like, like a positive initiative, which is particularly important in, in these difficult times. What is your hope for Chevening? I really, really hope that, that the candidates that we get for Chevening go on to have a really transformative and fantastic experience in the UK, that they go on to make kind of lifelong friends and that they bring back the, the skills and the knowledge that they've acquired and make a difference here on the ground. And that's what we're, that's what we're really looking for. And I think that's particularly important now and if, of all times. Now, you're working here in the office in Jerusalem for the British Consulate. Why did you want to come here? <laughs> I think for exactly that, for a belief in, in making a difference and for using the UK as a kind of force for good around the world and to, and to hopefully bring an end to what has been a really long period of conflict here. It has been a lot of conflict. A family back at home worried about you being here? 
Yeah, absolutely. Incredibly worried watching the news all of the time. And it's kind of difficult to explain to them that whilst whilst the news is full of images of kind of horror, in many ways, life here carries on and we're all trying to do do our best, do the best that we can under the circumstances here. So if anybody's interested in the Chevening programme, how can they apply for that? So they need to visit our website and complete an application form. The application window is open now until the middle of November, I forget the exact date. And there's all sorts of guidance online about how to fill in the application. After that, we do interviews for shortlisted candidates and then inform people that they have been successful or not in the early summer next year, ready for a master's programme starting in the autumn. Well, Annie, thank you very much for sharing today. Thank you very much for having me.